And now let's shift our focus to what's happening in Indonesia. Monday's devastating earthquake has killed more than 250 people. Authorities are still sifting through the rubble looking for survivors. Our next report brings you the latest. A 5.6 magnitude earthquake hit West Java on Monday afternoon. It is Indonesia's most populous province. The earthquake epicenter was just about 75 kilometers away from the capital, Jakarta. It was near the town of Sianjur. A town of 175,000 people. The earthquake was a shallow one. Its focus was only around 10 kilometers beneath the surface. This resulted in extensive damage. Many buildings have collapsed in Sianjur. The quake also triggered landslides in the area. People were buried beneath both mud and debris. Rescue workers are still looking for survivors. This is Aris. He's one of many searching for their families. The landslides buried a family member's house. Three of his relatives are unaccounted for. This is Sianuddin. He too has missing family members. He was examining the rubble that used to be his house. His uncle's family lived next door. Three adults and three children from his family haven't been found yet. Cuckoo here was injured during the earthquake. Her house collapsed beneath her. She was at home with her children when the earthquake hit. One of them is still missing. One of my kids is still missing. My house is flattened. God good, two of my kids survived. I dug them up. And this one, two others I brought here. And one is still missing. More than 260 people have died. More than 58,000 people have been displaced. But these are the numbers so far. The figures will change as the rescue work progresses. An official spoke about the difficulties they are facing during the rescue work. The rescue operation has been difficult because the condition of the earth is sticky and tools to evacuate are inadequate. We don't have enough excavators. Power outages and almost 117 aftershocks have also complicated the rescue efforts. Even those who have been rescued are facing issues. They say drinking water is in short supply. There's a dearth of medicines and blankets too. Indonesia is no stranger to earthquakes. The country lies on the Pacific Ring of Fire. It's a string of volcanoes which surrounds the Pacific Ocean. These are formed due to the movement of tectonic plates. The plate movement makes this area prone to earthquakes and tsunamis. Indonesia has often suffered as a result. A 6.2 magnitude earthquake hit the country in February this year. 25 people lost their lives. Another 6.2 magnitude quake killed more than 100 people in January last year. And of course, the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami killed hundreds of thousands. Most of the victims were from Indonesia. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.